Good morning, everyone. It's Rafe Gale. We're playing some more Final Fantasy VI T Edition. Today we are hoping to get revenge on our nemesis from the Zone Eater. Um, there are. Oh boy. There's two things that we need to do. Um, one of them is a trap chest that we never got further in, <clears throat> which we're going to try. Basically, if I got knocked off, we'd do the bottom part first. Since we didn't, we're going to try the top part first. Uh, we do have Mogalong, um, because Moogle Charm. We have Lockalong doing the evasion thing. I realized that if I used Defender uh, instead of Atma Weapon, it would do less damage, but would do, or, but wouldn't need both evasion items, so that I could also stack a ribbon on him. Um, Shadow. I really missed Shadow. I really just wanted to use him, so we're using him with Rising Sun and Fuma Shuriken from the back row really high damage output. Um, I forgot about the fact that because of where you get him on Floating Continent and where I did my grinds earlier, um, he knows four whole, five whole spells. Um, yeah. We're going to correct this later. <laughs> uh, we're really close to getting a couple more espers. By a couple, I think. I mean one, maybe two. Um, so I'm going to wait until other people have spells to learn before I grind some spells out for him. However, he hits hard enough and he has enough other utility that I feel like he's still worth using for this section. Um, and then Cyan... So I was debating here, and I decided to go with Cyan because Cyan... We're still going to be using coming at an upcoming fight, so he needs the levels. And uh, there is a section um let's see. Uh, our axe characters, Umaro and Gao, uh, would be using the earth element hammer, and one of the bosses is Adamantois, which is earth element. So that doesn't feel very practical. Now, the fun, quote-unquote, part of this section right here is that every time we fail at doing this uh, boss fight, we get to run back through half of this dungeon. The good news is we have the Moogle Charm now, so it's slightly less awful than it would have been. But this is another one that we did very early on. Originally, I forgot to... Oh wait, no, we're good. We're good. Um... Let's just start with slow. That feels like a safe start. Kieran, Golem... And we're trying to Shura out. Uh, I was told that... Um, Ashura doesn't stack with stuff you already have. She gives random status effects to your party members, but it's stuff that you don't already have. So, theoretically, we just got a couple cool status effects there. Um, you see Shadow got Blink. Stack a couple of these. Shadow really hits like a truck, which is really... He's very fast, 
he hits really hard. That's why I was not super worried with the fact that we didn't have um, a bunch of magic on him. Like, he's not going to use a bunch of magic. He's going to hit things for 3,500 damage. Second, Balmung. Unfortunately, apparently that thing absorbs uh, that type of damage, so Cyan is no longer useful. Um, yeah, let's Libra. Shadow has the Memento Ring, so that missed. That is one of the reasons that I wanted to try Ashura. I was talking with somebody and they mentioned that uh, Re-Raise was no longer, or Life 3 in the original, was no longer in the game. And one of the cool parts with this... is the only ways to get the re-raise effect in the, at this point are, are one of the main ways. Whoa, we got some fun graphical glitches going on. Hopefully those go away soon. Twin Fangs! Finally actually hitting <laughs> Shadow. This fight is rough. Um, I will also say that is our second Balmung that we just stole there. So we can now spam <laughs> Uh, theoretically, we could Genji Glove Celis with that, since they are a very strong weapon for her. has a ridiculous amount of health for a, you know, technically just mob. I was not paying attention to its health when we saw when we did a Libra. I know we accidentally healed it a couple times, but not for that much. Oh, it's healing itself every time it does the blood weapon. Ugh. Yes. Okay. Got it. That would make it go a little slower. Oh, and that's a counterattack every time they do a physical. Gotcha. I'm following now. I probably should, and even though I'm not taking that much damage from it because I've been using Golem instead of Phantom, uh, it's still doing the thing. Okay, gotcha. I'm following, I'm following.
And we get the black robe. Uh, which should be, I'm assuming, is the equivalent of the white robe, except for... Uh, resistant to... Yeah, resistant to light. Teaches Blair, which we do not have a source for yet. So that will be very fun. <clears throat> so ideally, we don't want Cyan on Atma weapon. We want him using his normal weapon. Uh, just because it's more consistent for damage. Oh no. Oh no. We're not risking it. <laughs> that fight was annoying. Honestly, though, I do feel like this party worked pretty well. Like, we were doing the right things. We just... It just took a while to get going because of that fight. Honestly, if I had Phantom instead of uh, what we had, probably would have gone better. Phantom instead of Golem. Make sure you take the Mo um, the Molulu charm off before you go looking for a zone eater. Because I totally had the Moogle charm on earlier while I was trying to find random encounters to grind. Not proud. But I'll own up to it. Wow, no zone eaters. Now, I don't know what Adamantoris is weak to. I'm going to assume it is um, air, but I don't know for sure. And we're going to hope that he's not strong against... Um dark isn't it just always the way save because I don't remember if there's a save point down by Adamantois and I don't want to sit here and have to cycle through. We also didn't or we also still need to get the returner down here. There we go. I'm patient, I swear.
I've had these Zone Eater fights take way longer than they should because they also cast gravity. and Narsh? Thanks, I'll head back. Just casually living in the belly of a zone eater. Like you do. Okay. Is this a good setup still? Yes. And we're gonna lead with Mog. doing our initial float test. And we are going to just leave Molu Charm on because I don't want to risk it. I don't know how scary this guy is. Like, I know he killed us last time, but that so did the so did the behemoths, and they didn't that doesn't mean much. We may have made a mis a grave mistake with the party we brought. <laughs> We'll find out, though. No items. That's good to know. Uh, let's start with poison. So, Shadow didn't do any damage. Um, now, that might be... I mean, that's almost certainly a bad sign. Okay, that did zero. Uh, I want to figure out as much as I can. This may end up being an information gathering fight. So the poison spell did zero. That means that water damage does not hurt it. Bio is an actual fire, or is an actual spell that does that type of damage, along with, um, Cyan, who has a dark sword equipped. So we're going to probably go that route. Uh, let's try, uh, Blazara. Gravity on himself. That still does only one. I was thinking maybe a uh, float would make him... Okay, no, he was just doing that to... I mean, I guess that will get the job done, but I don't think we want to rely on it.
I'm basically just trying to hit it once with each element to see if there is something that does damage, or if we just need to only use stuff that ignores defense or something. Because that's kind of what I'm leaning towards right now, and that's kind of scary. Um... Not water. Oh, we already knew that. Um, thunder. No. Okay, so the only thing we haven't hit with yet is wind. Um, let's see if we can get to that. So this weapon does uh, wind damage. No. Hooray, now we can all jump and do zero later. sure what to do there. If this is a zone eater. Oh good. If that's a zone eater after all of that. <laughs> I mean I guess okay let's Let's finish what we were doing. Um, I don't think I want. I want to. I feel like we can take out a on, However, but there's a but. Um, I would like to get a party set up specifically with non-elemental effects. And damage piercing effects. So, Atma Weapon, Drill, um... Yeah, Atma Weapon, Drill, um... Meteo, Comet, and theoretically Flare should also be non-elemental, and we actually have a, ca a way to cast that now, possibly a second way coming up soon. So what I'm going to do, uh, we're going to finish this. We're going to come back for Adam and Toys later. Not much later, but a little later. I want to do my grind first and rearrange my brain. Um, basically. And you know what? Maybe we will. Maybe we'll go and uh, finish a few other little side quests first. We can come back. It's not the end of the world. But I'm pretty sure that's the last returner. Uh, which actually opens up several things. And as a result, I mean, we're already at 24 minutes. Let's go check on this for the end of this video so that I can do some grinding off stream if I'm correct. People are starting to return to Narsh. On my honor, I won't let a single monster step foot in town. Magic. 
I have faith that you will never misuse it. We have a house to repair, a town to guard. Nice. So basically, there's a bunch of people in town. People have come back to nourish. That was the goal. Uh, nourish's citizens. I thought we did. Am I wrong? We might be missing one still. Odin, Leviathan. We already got that. We already have them. I was hoping he would uh, give us some sort of comment since we had them. Okay. Um. Weapon shop. Uh, we get some new weapons available. Ward bangle, if you missed the first one. Apparently there's crystals in this game. Nice. Speaking of crystals, we already have our crystal armor, thank you. We made our own. Everyone has finally returned. Please take this as a token of my... Awesome. That's what we were looking for. I thought Bannon gave it to you. So. We now have the Ragnarok Magicite. Which does not actually give us uh, the stuff I was hoping for, but does give us a couple spells. And it has a cool feature where you can actually use it to turn enemies into items. It kind of works as a secondary steal mechanic. Um, I have never messed around with it that much, because I've always just kind of used it to get the Ultima spell. Um, I may poke around with it now. We'll find out. Tune in next time to find out more. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a grind here. Um, I want to make sure that we get uh, a couple of people with Lair uh, before we go and do that fight. And then I'm pretty much thinking I'm gonna spam Medio at it. I may, like I said, I may come back, uh, do like one or two more quests and come back. It's not gonna be the end of the world because that already happened. Anyway, hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.